Hello friend, welcome to Fearless World. We are going to study element 1.4. This is the part of GC2 element 1. Safe moment of people in the workplace. How people safely move at the workplace. We will thoroughly study in this uh, chapter, in this lesson, in this element. And uh, <clears throat> all the risks related to movement we will study and also we will uh, study about control measures so let's move to the next slide this is next slide and uh, safe moment of people in the workplace if you are moving at the workplace then what is the hazard what different range of hazard is there when people move around in workplace they are exposed to different range of hazards simply by being a pedestrian so pedestrian that means who is going on foot and uh, what types of hazard they may suffer it it may chance to slip it may chance to trip it may chance to fall on the safe level and it may chance to fall from height that means a person is climbing up on the stair it may chance to fall down collision with moving vehicles that means uh, a moving vehicles may collide with you a striking by moving flying or falling object you may striking with and striking against fixed or stationary object suppose something is stored on the road or side of the road and <clears throat> you are going there you it may chance to strike so these are the some hazards and sleep trip and fall we will study deeply about sleep trip and fall why sleep happen the cause of sleep is that sleep on wet surface if that is wet surface is wet it may chance to sleep it if that is dry also it may chance to sleep if something obstruction it may chance to trip if surface is uneven that means up and down it may chance to trip so these are the cause of sleep and trip and factor that contributes to the accident is that floor surface if floor surface is slippery it will contribute to the accident if in the surface or the in floor holes it may chance to someone fall inside that if uneven surface it may cause accident contamination that means spillage if you have a stored oil and oil is coming out then it may chance to slip due to leakage if water is leakage on the floor through pipe then it may chance to slip so these are the fa these factors contribute to the accident obstruction that means something you have stored material at the unauthorized place that means chance to trip rubbish material trailing cables rugs these are cause of accident carrying load insufficient space to work in in environment no proper lighting footwear unsuitable footwear you are using non uh, anti sleep you are not using and unaware of the danger if the people unaware of danger you don't know what types of work is going on workplace and what may happen if the people are unaware so these are the factors which uh, contribute to the accident and what types of precaution you should take to avoid slip trip and fall these are the precaution given in this slide first one is designated walkway routes that means for uh, pedestrian there should be a designated walkway where no work will be going on and no spillage no obstruction is there so there should be a designated walkway route that should be marked that should be fenced ensure walk walkways are level that means in at uh, your designated work should be leveled no up and down uh, floor required and ensure walkway are non-slip 
and also walkways should be made by non slip tiles or materials ensure walkway uh, well lit it should be it should have good lighting clearly marked walkway spillage uh, procedure and eliminate need to carry load don't carry load through your walkways make employee aware of the hazard and also provide training instruction to your employee that will help you to control slip trip fall at the workplace and uh, <clears throat> slip trip fall hazards why this happen inadequate design poor housekeeping poor housekeeping also cause of slip trip and fall poor lighting if poor lighting is there it may cause slip trip fall slippy surface or unsuitable footwear damaged flooring or covering flooring is damaged that means uneven surface or covering it may cause fall and manual handling rushing on a stair manual handling if you are uh, uh, handling some materials manually it may chance to fall or slip due to load and uh, rushing on a stair if more than many many persons are uh, climbing up and down on a stair then it may chance to trip or fall or slip <clears throat> how you will control slip trip and fall first one is adequate width or of walkways a stair handrail fitted walkway should be adequate yes width will be adequate and also a stair width will be adequate should be adequate and also fitted with handrail remove obstruction if something you have stored in the walkway you remove that improve lighting level and install emergency lighting lighting should be sufficient to avoid slip trip and fall non slip surface required and a spillage procedure it should be there and covered walkway and uh, and jo uh, if opening floor is there that should be covered repair defect if uh, floor is in defect that means up and down that should be repaired if damaged that should be repaired use lifts for loads don't carry manually use lift to carry load this if you are using this precaution this control measures applying at your workplace i think slip trip and fall can be avoided falling from height next question is that falling from height it may be uh, two types falling on the same level and falling from height we are studying here falling from height that means uh, working next to unprotected is if you are working on the roof and uh, there is no handrail or edge protection that is flat roof that means it may chance to fall and working on fragile material above the above a drop fragile roof suppose if you are working on fragile material roof that means on asbestos uh, roof or plastic roof such types of roof where that chance to break that means you are working at height and uh, chance of falling using access equipment that is mobile elevated work platform if you are using a stair or mwp that means it may chance to fall from height using ladder that is a step ladder for example a step ladder it may chance to fall a standing on object to reach and if you are using your chair or drum or box to reach to the object that means it may chance to fall high level example use of chair to reach top shelf so these are the some typical hazards that may cause fall from height falling from height hierarchy of control for working at height 
how you will control falling from height so you have already a study hierarchy of control measures i have already made video on them so hierarchy of control from working at height is that avoid working at height where possible first one is don't work at height if not required don't work at height second one is prevention of fall you prevent fall and third one is use of work device or other control measures to minimize the distance and consequences of fall that means you can use full body harness fall back arrester these are the some control measures to minimize the distance of consequences of fall so these are the uh, hierarchy of control first one is avoid working at height second one pre prevention of fall how can we prevent use handrail if you use handrail it will prevent fall and third one is minimize the consequence of fall collision with moving vehicles if you are moving at the workplace it may chance to collide with moving vehicle typical hazards includes pedestrian walkway in vehicles traffic route that require pedestrian to walk in vehicle traffic if there is pedestrian walkway then it may chance to collision between moving vehicle and the pedestrian as in car park so these are the typical hazards and pedestrian crossing point where uh, zebra crossing is there <clears throat> at the zebra crossing or where pedestrian cross point so it may chance to collide and exit that open onto the vehicle routes exit point of the warehouse or any building area where people have to work adjacent to moving vehicles if you are if you have to work beside the road that means vehicles vehicles is also going there and you are working beside that it may chance to collide and struck by moving vessel flying and <coughs> falling object people may be struck by if you are moving at the workplace objects may fall from overhead conveyor if <clears throat> at your workplace conveyor is there it, the fall of material may occur bit of materials ejected from the equipment or item falling from above hand tools falling from height during maintenance work where possible the hazard should be eliminated by guarding the equipment protection such as netting to prevent objects falling you can barricade you can give barricade and ppe by using this precaution people may people may struck by can be controlled these hazards can be controlled by using this control measures a struck again fixed or moving object example of a striking object is objects that project into the pedestrian area or route narrow doorway in the pedestrian route or low overhead that means something is not more height more than your height you may struck there strike there safe movement of people control measures slip resistant surface if surface is slip resistant the chance of slip is very less install slip resistance floor use treatment that substantially increase the surface roughness of the floor minimize the chances in the floor level install ramps that steps avoid sudden changes in floor surface texture maintain products used to increase the surface friction safe movement of people and their control measures a spillage control how you will control a spillage a spillage means that means if you have a stored uh, oil in your uh, drum it may chance a spill or if machine is running there it may chance to spill oil from their engine floor and pedestrian routes should be designated and constructed to withstand 
foreseeable spillage. There should be a uh, designated pedestrian route and prevent spillage from happening through maintenance of spill source. Proper maintenance of machine or proper maintenance of equipment can control spillage. And uh, third one is uh, transport and carry a compound in suitable container to prevent spill. If you are transporting some materials that chance to spill, use compound that means more than one container in suitable container to prevent spills. Or fourth one is if spills can't be prevented, then measures can be taken to prevent contamination. If you chance to, uh, if you can't control preve uh, prevent a spill, then use control measures to prevent contamination. That means bond are widely used in the many company. Suppose if you are storing 20 ton of uh, oil, then you will uh, see there there is boundary uh, around that uh, tank and if a spill happen then that liquid will not go outside that boundary and that will store inside that so due to that we can prevent contamination so these are the widely used in industries ensure ensure all personnel is adequately trained and instructed in the spill cleanup treatment your staff should be trained how to clean up a spill so these are the control measures spillage control drainage everywhere you found drainage water drain or depend upon the chemicals used at your lots of drain you will find everywhere also in home when installing drainage consider the flowing if you are using drain lines at your workplace then safe drainage how will made given here provide a means of drainage pipe containing water or other fluid by means of a spill tray or procedure as required supply channel is in the flooring covered by grating drain should be covered by grating grating that means uh, net made of uh, iron or steel that means that should be covered uh, grating if there is a substantial amount of liquid if more amount of liquid is there there should be grating of the drain everywhere drain is covered and uh, in the first uh, you have already uh, seen here uh, pipeline should be used because pipeline will be not open and uh, that will be uh, widely used everywhere for drain purpose use grating as a floor covering if the work job is really damp or greasy grating should be used on floor covering that means if drain on the floor you will found that everywhere drain are used and that should be covered by net that is called grating surface area must be slip resistance if there is chance to some spillage then your floors should be slip resistant and uh, well housekeeping is required there the area of drain should be as close as possible to the source of liquid drain a ideal drain is that uh, where a, a source of liquid is there and a chance to spill or come out so drain should be as near as possible sufficient drain point provided to avoid excessive modification and drain point should be a, a point a, provided to avoid excessive modification in floor level due to grading so these are the uh, some basic uh, requirement while installing drainage it should be considered while making drain safe moment of people control measures in this lesson we are studying this designated walkway what will be the criteria of designated walkway the use of designated walkway is critical control measures in many workplace situation 
everywhere where workers are working everywhere you find designated walkway beside the road or at your workplace so walkway can be used to try to ensure that pedestrians stay within designated area all pedestrians should be always stay within designated area vehicle or other hazard do not stray into the pedestrian area and vehicle is not allowed to go in pedestrian area and walkway must be designated by guardrail walkway will designated by guardrail if that is of at height curbs and pavement that means it should be uh, around 1 uh, feet height from uh, road and marking on floor if this is not sufficient then you can mark on the floor that means this area is for uh, pedestrian walkway and this for um, for vehicle movement and fencing and guarding fencing and guarding physical barrier to prevent people fencing and guarding is given for physical barrier to prevent people falling into hole open drains or ditches or struck by falling object these are two purpose of fencing and guarding use of sign at the workplace sign should be used why sign should be used to alert people to hazard and indicate safety requirement personal protective equipment should be used to safe movement of the people and information instruction and training should be and supervision should be provided for safe movement of people at the workplace these are the control measures we are all studying these are the control measures for safe movement of people maintenance of safe workplace how will maintain safe workplace for this poor housekeeping risk what is risk for poor housekeeping slip or fall if there is poor housekeeping it may chance to slip or fall risk of fire blocked fire exist exit and infestation vehicle collision fall of material if poor housekeeping maintain these are the six risks associated with poor housekeeping cleaning cleaning and housekeeping requirement it is essential that management ensure that they identify housekeeping requirement it is management responsibility they make a schedule for housekeeping and also provide a staff for housekeeping have clear lines of responsibility for housekeeping who is responsible for housekeeping it should be clearly lined and provide resource for good housekeeping training should be also provided to the training and staff and all employees about uh, good housekeeping workplace inspection carried out workplace inspection will help you if proper housekeeping is going or not maintenance of safe workplace requirement for safe access and egress we know that this is the requirement every workplace should have safe access and egress then for safe access and egress these are the requirements given here assist personnel to move around the around safely obstruction free free from trip hazard access and egress should be free from trip hazard it should be clearly marked floor marking should provide at uh, provide a contrast contrast to the floor color be designed to permit free movement of employee bringing and removing materials vision panel for doors emergency routes to have adequate lighting and a stairway have handrail and be designed for suitable access by access by vehicles these are the requirements for safe access and egress this is the end of this session and uh, in the next session we will study about work at height i think you have uh, understand all things and uh, if you like this video press like button 
और ऑल्सो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट थैंक यू नमस्कार